Welcome to HTML4 video series. This is part 57 and we are going to test our subdomain today. What we discussed in the past video was, I'm going to give you a quick preview. What we did was, we jumped into our control panel, okay, we looked at our subdomains, alright, <coughs> and domain of course, and then we decided that we are going to create a subdomain name something like this alright and in the end we had the success after adding which we were able to see that ok.sufferingitbosses.com showed up and at the very same time we were able to see that from the same thing can be accessible via an FTP as well right so that was the past tense now we need to uh, you know see like uh, how this works I mean what exactly it has so I'm gonna right click I will hit open a new tab the moment I do that I am going to end up over here remember this ok directory you remember this ok directory which was specially assigned by us that's why it shows up over here the ok directory suffering com slash ok so all my content is right here and the same thing is pretty much visible at uh, you know let me reconnect let's do it quickly come on come on come on come on come on and um, okay so you can see all my subdomains here I'm gonna go into the OK and you can see the content the same thing is visible over here right and now what I'm going to do is I am going to add a new file for which I will use this command add new file and then I'll say that upload file all right and then I'll say I want to upload gameplan.txt and then I say OK and once I do that okay I see uh, you know gameplan.txt shows up and I get the notification the file was created now if I jump into the Firefox I'm sorry the FileZilla and I simply do the refresh because we know we are within the OK subdomain right so let's do that and you can see the file will show up over here so the file is right here very nice alright so let's take a look uh, we did open look at the content we push the file we verified the same and now let's do the reverse I will delete the file from here okay the game plan file I'm deleting and it's gone let me do the refresh and verify directory listing successful so I can see everything is good right and now let me go back over here but before going there I need to do one change alright so now I'm going to hit the refresh over here because you can see it's there right so let's do the refresh I'm pretty sure this file should go away and it is refreshing and indeed the file has gone so you can see you know you have the vice versa effect the same thing can be done from here you know using this control panel or same thing can be done from here I like it FileZilla very much because it's fast and it's easy it helps you in all the ways why because on the left hand side you can see my machine right all the drives everything you can see over here on the right hand side I can see the server my domain subdomains everything I can see if I want to push any file right then I can simply push the file from left to right and my file will be pushed onto the server and it will be done and the same thing <coughs> over here the benefit over here is you can you know uh, add the zip file or the other things and then you can extract the whole thing will come up right here okay so it depends like you know how you want to go sometimes it happens like you know you don't have an access to FileZilla so and now what so this is the one way out you have right so we'll go by that <coughs> so it depends how you want to use it in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to you know this html.sufferingitbastard.com you remember this content we are going to push right here right now if you check this website this is still the same we have not done anything over here we have not pushed a single content onto this website right so I hope to see you in the next video alright and I hope this video helps you in some way if it does then guys please subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends thank you for watching good night and take care